All right. <clears throat> Just chilling now. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm gonna wait for some people to stream in before we get going. Stream in, <laughs> get it? But um, tss, I'm hilarious. Hi, everybody. Yeah. How's everybody's day going? It's Saturday. Good weekend day. Audrey is at her family's house. She's making beef jerky with her mom, actually. So it's just me today, un kind of, unfortunately. I feel like it's easier to stream with her, honestly, because I feel like half the time I don't know what to say. And that leads to awkward silences, but I try. So, yeah. Today, I'm going to take my own stab at playing GeoGuessr. Uh, so, I actually do not get to eat all of the Bake Off food. I only eat the Bake Off food if the Bake Off happens at our house or includes me if they do it at her house uh i don't i don't usually see any of the bake-off food i think they just leave it at their house so sad maybe i should tell audrey to start bringing me bake-off food next time they do a bake-off so you know We need another elders cooking video. Probably, yeah. Uh when was the last one? The last one was Christmas, wasn't it? We made like Christmas treats. Right. Oh, what was my I feel like I had a fail in that video and I'm trying to remember what it was. Was it my fail or was it Jordan's fail? Because in that video, Audrey made the, like the Biscoff cookie butter tr white chocolate truffles that were like way too sugary. But didn't Jordan make like eggnog? I feel like it didn't turn out very well, but I don't remember where it went wrong. And I don't even remember what I made for that video. It hasn't even been that long. Sheesh. If I should prank Audrey, what should I, what should I do? I'm not a very good, like, at least I grew up in a family where we didn't do many pranks and stuff. So I need ideas. Feed, feed me some ideas here. Hello, everybody. People that just joined. Honestly, nothing's really going on yet, but... I don't know. <laughs> uh, someone, Marinated Pancakes, commented, I remember when you set the pasta on fire in the HelloFresh cooking video. But to be honest, I didn't even remember... Uh, I didn't even remember that it was a HelloFresh cooking video, but I do remember freaking setting pasta on fire. I don't even really know how it caught on fire. I think it was just that, like, it was over, like, a gas stove. And, like, I left the pasta, like, kind of hanging half out of the pot. And I think the heat from the gas stove just kind of rose into the pasta that was hanging off of the side of the pot. And it caught on fire. I didn't even know pasta was, like, flammable like that. 
Oh, yikes. I should rickroll Audrey in surprising ways. Hmm. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this. That's a notes. I'm wondering if I could be like, hey, welcome home, Audrey. Uh, I worked on some music and I did a song and then I can sit down and... Oh, how does the original go? Can you guys even hear that? <laughs> We should definitely do a Wizard 101 or Toontown stream together. I've honestly been wanting to play Wizard 101 again. We let our our memberships end again. So we'd have to like fire them back up. And yeah, I want to play again, to be honest. So some of your guys' pranks, like, I don't know about them, man. For the ignore her all day till she notices. I don't know if I even could. And I'll be honest, the like whole calling her by a different girl's name. That just to me that sounds more up like the aisle of like drama stuff, because usually isn't that to like make her think that I'm talking to someone else or like that kind of thing. Like we don't want that kind of drama. Or go missing, I feel like. Is a little extreme see this is why i'm not much of a pranker because i feel like i just think everything's like really extreme i didn't grow up with pranking much so like my family's equivalent of pranks were like probably the most thing i could remember like the most extreme thing i could remember would be like an april fool's joke where my brother gave me a ice cream sandwich like made like cookies and ice cream sandwich except instead of ice cream it was orange like cream orange mint toothpaste or like one of the pranks my family did was once my brother was like using the bathroom and while he was in there my family had like a emoji pillow of like the nerd emoji and so my someone in my family like taped the emoji to the door while my brother was in the bathroom at like face height so when he opened the door it was just like <laughs> emoji pillow staring him right in the face so yeah oh my gosh you're <laughs> watching this while it's 2 a.m in the philippines and you have an entrance exam tomorrow yikes uh I appreciate you tuning in, but you should probably try to get some rest. But good luck with that entrance exam. I feel like in America, we actually, like, for college applications, a lot of the times we will, like, um, we'll have, like, it depends on the college, but some will, like, just require you to, like, write essays, but I don't know how many, like, colleges there are here that require like an exam i feel like the closest thing we have to something like that is like we all have to take the act or the sat depending on where in the country you live and then um what was i thinking saying and then like that's not even like 
it's not necessarily like a binary make or break like oh if you get this you get into school like it kind of is but like the act and sat are just kind of like benchmark tests that help your chances of getting into some of the more prestigious schools stuff like that but meh yeah anyway should i i mean i've been streaming for like 10 minutes already so i feel like we should get going on geo guesser so unlike audrey being unprepared last time i am prepared now and i have purchased the pro membership so i can play unlimited starting stuff so we're gonna go on medium i it doesn't let me play hard or impossible I, oh complete a trip to unlock the next difficulty okay that answers my question am i on a timer for this i'm terrible with timers okay when did this game turn into like a, like they've definitely fluffed this up as a game it used to literally just be like a browser game that would just kind of like drop you in and just stuff okay level one oh so should i do cities or statues y'all what do y'all think cities statues i don't know statues very well so i'd probably be better with cities but uh oh that's a good idea there is a rick roll prank number that you can call i remember discovering those like in high school and they were like the best thing ever there was like a um i'm trying to remember there's like the rejection hotline prank call that one's kind of funny there's like a john cena one where you call it it'll play like the john cena theme i'm seeing more cities so we're gonna do cities here I thought this game had audio, so I'm wearing my headphones. It doesn't. Does it? Oh, maybe I just... Still no audio? Okay. Maybe not. Um. Oh, crap. This is the biggest city in the world with over 35 million inhabitants. Wow. Uh... I'm going to assume that it's in, like, this section of the world, then, because I think, I want to say, isn't India one of the countries that has, like, the highest population density? But this isn't really giving me India vibes. I feel like this would be China or Japan. Can I not move around? Am I just stuck in this spot? I think I'm stuck in this spot doesn't look like i can move around my street view uh, i have 30 seconds oh i can zoom in though okay i think i think that looks more like japanese question mark no oh i don't know okay uh tokyo or like hong kong we're going tokyo uh how do i guess how do i guess Oh, guess. Oh. Uh, it's China, isn't it? Oh, it, no, it is Japan. Okay. But it's not where we are is... Oh, it is bright in Tokyo. It's just I didn't zoom in enough, so my guess was a little bit outside of Tokyo because I freaking placed it from, like, out here. Okay. Okay, I was on the right track then. It's Tokyo. I did not know that Tokyo is the actual, like, the biggest city. I knew it was, like, one of the biggest cities, but I didn't know it was, like, considered the biggest. Okay. Interesting. All right. Vote again. Bo not boys. People. Girls. Boys. Girls. Whoever you want to, like, however you want to be called. Men. Women. People. Persons. Uh, big statues, ancient wonders, or famous companies. Okay, we got one for companies, one for statues, one for wonders. It's all one for one right now. Okay, that's two for statues, two for companies. It 
it's neck and neck. Do I need to like flip a coin, random number generator it? Uh, and that's a third for wonders. It's all still tied right now. Christo commented, I never got a chance to ask how it was like living in the Reed's TV trailer, but I'm assuming that mean you're meaning RV trailer. Uh, oh, you're leaving? Okay. It was good. It's pretty comfortable, actually. I, I would recommend living in a, maybe not like full time, but like RV trailers aren't bad. That's my very short rundown of it. Okay, I'm seeing like basically even votes for all three of these things. So we're going to do a random number generator. One to three. Uh, statues is one. Wonders is two. Companies is three. Generate. Oh, did it do it? Two. Ancient Wonders. We're doing this one. Okay. Oh. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder what this is. I think it might be like the Great Pyramids in Egypt. I assume, unless there's other ginormous pyramids in the world that I don't know about. Problem is, is I have no idea where in Egypt they actually are. Does anybody know where in Egypt the pyramids are? Because I genuinely have no idea. Because, I mean, this patch of land looks greener, but this out here looks very not green. So I assume it's in part of the larger segment of, like, deserty stuff. Is it on the reserve? I don't see anything in there. Uh, I have no idea where in Egypt the pyramids are actually are what is oh those arrows just yeah i gotta guess soon oh no uh i'm just gonna put it outside of new cairo city sure oh hey that was actually pretty close okay oh hey if i had zoomed in a little more there's giza isn't one of the pyramids called the Pyramid of Giza? I think so, right? Yeah, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Okay, yeah. All right. Sounds good. Um, thanks for watching, Fluffy. I'm sorry that you don't really get to see the middle, but yeah, I think... I'm pretty sure all of our streams save as videos, so if you guys miss anything, you can always go back and watch it after the stream's over. So, are we doing songs with place names or space travel? This is definitely, like, new to me in GeoGuessr. I didn't even know these levels had, like, these category picker thingies. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm clipping just a little bit. Anybody got a opinion? Songs? Space travel? I will say I am a music lover. I am pretty... I, I think I'm more partial to the songs thing. But I feel like I don't know a whole lot of songs that actually include place names in it. So... I don't know, man. I'm seeing more songs, so we'll do it. Uh, Coldplay, Imagine Dragons, and Jacques all have songs about the city. Is that Amsterdam, then? Uh, Imagine Dragons. Amsterdam's the only Imagine Dragons song that I know of that talks about a place. Amsterdam is the Netherlands? right yeah for some reason i thought it was sweden okay so do we have a chance at guessing where in amsterdam we are we've got i don't i'm not even gonna try to say that i have no idea how that would be pronounced 
Um, it does look like we're near a waterway. So, oh, apparently there's a lot of waterways in Amsterdam. Uh, I feel like one of these was like a cafe thing, but I don't know. I mean, like this is giving cafe vibes. I have 16 seconds. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go right there. Bop. Ah, other side of Amsterdam. So I'm going to assume what I was staring at is not a cafe then. Unless it's, no, it wasn't across the thing. Yeah. I don't know. All right. That one went pretty well. These ones have been easy. But did I, I do this on medium? I think I did. Um, you know what? Since we've done both of these and we didn't get space travel, we're just going to do space travel on this. Uh, Estrange was the first site on EU territory with orbital launch capability. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, the hint, this thing kind of gives to us that it's in Europe somewhere, but I couldn't even tell you which European countries are actually part of the Union. Um, oh, yeah. You got it. Audrey's, yeah, she's at her parents' house. She's making beef jerky. Oh, hello. Um, this is, I have no idea where this would be. Anybody have any ideas? Because I don't. I'm just going to put it right there. That's probably so far away. Ah, oh, that's northern Sweden. Ouch. There it is. That's a, a, It's probably not even pronounced a strange then, is it? Oh, but we're only close to that city where we actually are. Was the pack whatever thing. Okay. That was Sweden have no idea oh we'll do summer olympics since we did an ancient wonders one um the first summer olympics were held here dude i don't know what the first summer olympics were that's given me like the like the kind of characters that are in like this general vicinity of Europe. Like, that's given Greek right there. Oh. Was it the first Olymp... I feel like the first Olympics were probably held in Athens. Weren't they? So, I'm betting this is Athens. Uh... Where in Athens? I feel like this would be somewhere like in the heart of Athens, going by how this has gone so far. But I don't know. We're at like an intersection that looks like like a four-way intersection. We're just going to drop it there. Ah, not quite. But pretty darn close. It is indeed Athens. And it was indeed like basically in the middle of the city. So, all right. 
I think that was the end of this one. So, how many people can play a GeoGuessr multiplayer game? Be the first to collect five stars. Okay. Claim a pack for what? Okay. This is like bizarre. How do I go back to the menu? I don't want to play this anymore. Uh. Well, I actually have no idea how to. Oh, main menu. There we go. Like, can, I feel like I'd only want to, like, I'd be down to host a multiplayer, but I want to, I, I feel like I'd want to make it so that a lot of people can play. Because if it's just, like, one-on-ones, I don't feel like that'd be as fun. So... I don't even know if this is the right thing to host a game. This is like so wildly different than the last time I even looked at GeoGuessr. I have no idea what this menu is anymore. I mean, there's like battle royale things. Oh, I'm just playing online. I don't want to play online. Give me out. Oh, I, I pressed cry thing. Okay, well, I guess I'm playing this now. <laughs> I didn't mean to join this. I think I'm just gonna like drop a thing randomly in the first thing that's giving uh immediate thought is canada if i'm being honest but secondary thought is like england somewhere but i have no idea I feel like it looks more mad. Like, I don't know what kind of climates England has, though. I feel like it's just this countryside is giving Europe, but all of this, to me, is giving Canada for some reason. <sighs> Look at me actually trying again. I'm, I'm going with Canada. It's probably not even close. So far, I'm in the cut. Oh, I'm definitely the furthest away from everybody, though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. It was over there. Oh, but it's Ireland, not England. Dang. Okay. I made it past round one. Okay, well, this is obviously coastal. I feel like this is giving South America. But I really don't know much about South America. I feel like, unfortunately, I'm only saying that. Actually, hmm, or is it island? I feel like maybe this is an island country. Is it bad that I stereotypically want to just guess Haiti because this looks like a poorer country? That's so bad. Heads up, I haven't guessed yet. I know, I know. Thing is, like... This could be, like, anywhere. I feel like it's an island thing. We're just... We're, we're gonna go with it. Yeah, if that... If that's how far away I am from it right now, I... That was not even close. <laughs> It's, it is an island, but it's one of the bigger islands. 
Looks like... Is that part of Malaysia? Or something else? I survived that round too? Dude, these other three people that I'm with though definitely know what they're doing and I have no idea. <laughs> what? What is this? This is like... North Dakota. The given North Dakota. Just smack that middle of North Dakota. Oh. <laughs> I'm like way far away from it. Alright, Joel or Julian. Can you get closer than I did? I'm sure they will. They seem like they're freaking geogesser geniuses. Come on, Julian. Don't you do it. Don't don't get closer than 7,500 kilometers. Uh. Yeah, I know I'm in last place. How how are these guys so close? How the heck would you know that it's freaking Bulgaria? Oh, probably because I'm not even really looking around okay all oh, right uh that's not what we want party is that how you host a thing challenge your best friend or invite up to a hundred people so i can do live challenges yeah so join by code oh I, I don't want to join by code. Yeah, I know. How do I get back out of this? <laughs> it's just so hard to navigate. How do I see what my code is so you guys can join? Ah, there you go. This hosts 100 people. So y'all can play. Every person in this chat can play if they want to. And I don't think you need a account, like a, I don't think you need a paid GeoGuessr account to join. That's like the only thing you can do with a, a free account. So, at least that's what it looked like when I checked. So the code is this right here, it's 7YXS. I'll type it in chat. My PC turns my room into a freaking sauna every day, man. Wait, it's warm in here. I might actually go turn. Because right now I think our thermostat is on heating. So I might just go turn it the other way. So I get airflow in here. Um, so, so I said, I want you to play Minecraft because you haven't played in so long. Also, hi, Adwin. Uh, I, I'd be down, but I will be honest. I feel like I don't even know what to do in, I don't really know what to do in Minecraft anymore. I feel like I've played enough of it in my life that i just like i don't know 
I feel like I'd need like a challenge. Maybe it's time to play hardcore or something. Cause I don't know. Has everybody joined that wants to join? I mean, my my stream thing's showing that I've got 34 concurrent viewers. 34 people are watching the stream right now. Only four of you guys want to play? That's fine if that is the case, but... Okay. If you guys didn't see, uh, if you... I don't know exactly how you do it, but there's like a four-digit code. And you can join by the code. And it's supposed to... This game mode is not supported by the app. Why not? The game mode literally said it could be played on any device by anybody. Since we have the stream chat, we're going to do emotes here. I don't know what that means. When I opened this page, it was like, live challenge mode can be played on like anything. If I do quiz, that wouldn't be the same though, would it? I don't know. What that happens if I oh it's just that. Um can I like share the link? Does the link work? If you use a phone, it tells you that you can't play. Why? I don't know. I mean, it looks like the link worked for some people because some more people joined. On my phone, if I... It works on my phone. That's what this testing person is. I just went into the browser. I googled GeoGuessr join. Clicked on the top result. Typed in the code 7YXS. I can post that again. Uh, and it let me join with a nickname, and that's what this testing person is. That's me on my phone. So, I don't know. Goodbye, me on my phone. You're kicked out of my game. If it doesn't work on the app, can you just try it through the browser? Because that's what I did. I just did it in a browser and it worked. Like Safari. Or if you have Android, you could do Chrome or whatever mobile browser floats your goat. I don't know. I 
there's Carmen. So browser works, right? Okay. I'll give it uh, 30 seconds, and then I'm starting. And if you guys missed it, then we'll play again after this one. We got time. So as soon as this timer on my screen hits, 41 minutes, as in that's how long I've been streaming. That's when we're starting. That's so weird that it works on the browser, but not in the app. That is bizarre. All right, let's do it. I'm not very good at this game, so y'all are probably going to destroy me. But it's all good fun. We got windmills, everybody. Uh... Looks like just like a mile marker of some sort that I, I don't know where it would be. Uh, I have no idea what these are, man. I'm just you're, I'm just in the middle of nowhere, man. I don't know. You know what? That's ticking up too fast. I think those are kilometer markers. I don't think we're in the U.S. I think we are somewhere else. But I don't know where. I have no idea where. What does this sign say? What are you? Oh. That looks freaking like German. Uh, bam, right there, because why not? <laughs> what? How was I that close? That was just like, I just like stuck it somewhere random in Germany, and I'm like, I'm really close to it. Wow. Wow. I promise, guys, I'm not that good at this game. That was luck. That was luck for me. Half luck. Like, I knew it was probably somewhere in Germany, but as far as, like, getting it that close in Germany, sheesh, that was lucky. What is... I can't even read that, but that's english question mark there's probably other languages that spell attention but like say it differently but just have like the same spelling uh this is giving like a european countryside again so i feel like it would be somewhere like united kingdom Beware of dog. That's English. So that's a stop sign. But stop sign is on the left, which means these people drive on the left side of the road. Case in point right there. Okay, uh, I'm guessing somewhere in the United Kingdom, I'm leaning towards the England part of the United Kingdom. Somewhere... In the countryside, we'll just go there. Why not? Ah, oh, it was Ireland. Dang it. Ah, uh, all right. Pretty good go, though. Um, Audrey's not streaming today. I'm the one that's streaming on a different day. Because uh, Audrey just streams on... Friday. So she streamed yesterday. We played Escape Simulator and it was pretty fun. Um, I'm streaming today, if you didn't see on my Instagram, because I was actually interviewing, kind of interviewing, just kind of like chatting 
with a entrepreneur that my mom connected me with during the time that I normally stream during. So I just figured I'd stream today instead. So, yep. Uh, well, definitely in the mountains somewhere. This looks like a one-way road. Like, this looks like it'd either be a one-way road or, like, a biking trail. Can I see myself? Can I see what took the picture? No. Or is it just, like, zoomed out? Is it just a narrow road? I have no idea, man. Mountains like that could be in a lot of places. tracking i feel like this could be like i mean when audrey played her geo guesser there was like a thing there was one that kind of gave you these kind of vibes and it was like literally just by the great lakes so i'm honestly wondering if this is like a canadian spot i don't know man i think i don't have a whole lot of time so i think i'm guessing Canada somewhere. I think we'll guess over in this watery area. Actually, I should have put it closer to the water because we're literally like right by the water. Dang it. I'm probably like not even close. <laughs> well, good job, y'all, that actually got it up in the vicinity. So that's like, is that part of Norway or Sweden? That looks like Norway. All right. Interesting. Very northern. Very, very northern. Good job, y'all. All right. Wow. Wow. This could be a lot of things. Where did the sign go? What? Oh, is that the sign that I saw from the first spot? Oh, that's... It just says four... <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? <sighs> Initially, thoughts are I feel like it's giving some sort of United Kingdom countryside again. But <sighs> I very much don't know a whole lot about what kind of climates are found in what parts of countries. So, like... This could really be a lot of things. This could be the U.S. for all I know. Maybe not, because I don't know if we have any road signs that just say, like, four. Why is that blurred out? Man. All right, what does U look like? That's not a traditional U.S. yield sign. We're not in the U.S. At least I don't think so. I'm guessing just from stereotype that I know... We're going Scotland. Right in there. I have no idea. I have no idea. Belarus. Oh, no, that's not quite in Belarus. Is that? That's Lithuania more than... Yeah. That's Lithuania. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I respect it. I got... I, I was in Europe this time instead of across the ocean, so... It's all good. We all we all make guesses like that occasionally. Hmm. What kind of place would brand a cola drink as American cola? <laughs> Just straight up. Uh I've never seen stuff that I've never seen advertisements that look like this in my life. Thing is, is over this honestly looks like it looks like they're driving on the right side of the road and that this is just someone passing. Like this is like this guy's passing this truck to get around them. Or is it or is it a two-lane road and it's just driving side by side? This is giving somewhere in Africa vibes for me. Cuz uh over like Christmas, before Christmas, Audrey and I hiked Kilimanjaro. Aha, so this person was just passing because now I'm drifting over to the left. Um, 
because we hiked Kilimanjaro, so I assume it's somewhere in this very large segment. You know what? I'm just going to say it kind of looks like where I was in Tanzania, so we're just going to go in Tanzania because that's the place in Africa that I've been to, and that's the vibes it was giving me. Oh, it is Africa, though. It is Africa, and it is the green part of Africa. It's actually Ghana. Dang. You got that close? Very well done. I'm curious. If you're in chat, I assume this is Rural Marsh. Did you know this one, or was this a guess? Just a question if you're watching right now it's okay i'm just curious but yeah all right oh is that the last one very good y'all very good i'm honestly kind of surprised i did as well in this game as i did uh I feel like I just got lucky on my Germany guess. Not gonna lie. <laughs> my Germany guess is just like a random like, ah, I'm out there. And I got so close. I don't know how, but that was fun. That was a good one. All right. Do we miss anybody? Is there anybody in chat that wants to join this game? Because if there is, it's the same code. I'll just type it in chat again. All right, I'm not seeing anybody joining, so I'm gonna assume this is this is the crew. These are the people that want to be playing. So, okay, let's go again. Beep 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 boop. Uh, did this? Is anybody else getting this? Did anybody else just get? A white screen. Or is it just mine that glitched? Well, based off of what I can see, um, I think we're in Antarctica. <laughs> I can't see anything here, so this is a throwaway guess anyway. I th th did you guys did you guys get to see what it actually is? I can't see it. it just it was just white. It just had a white screen. I probably should have just let it load a little more, but yeah. I'm getting the vibes. Sorry, y'all. I think I threw some of you guys off with my stream today. Audrey streamed yesterday. Audrey usually streams from 2 to 4, but on Fridays. So, like 2 to 4 our time, but on Fridays. Um, but I'm streaming today because I wasn't able to yesterday. Because during my streaming time, I was doing something else. as talking to an entrepreneur in my town. So... <laughs> I'm going to assume you guys could see where it is because those are good guesses <laughs> mine was like <laughs> mine... <laughs> i just had a white screen i got a point for it why is mine glitched i can't see it i can't see anything Well, 
Um, <laughs> uh, bitty boppity boo. We're going to Sudan. Oh, hey. Sudan's where Carmen said that your brother is for the army. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're just, we're, we're Sudan, baby. It's totally Sudan. <laughs> It's probably like what you guys are seeing is probably like the greatest landscape, and I put my guess in like a desert area. Or it'd be funny if you're like somewhere super coastal. And my guess, actually, I guess Sudan does have a coast. I did not know that. Uh, well, <laughs> good luck to all you guys that are playing this round, because. <laughs> This really is GeoGuessr Extreme Mode. I can't see anything. Oh, how close did I get? Uh, I got 26 points. It's not terrible. In my eyes, that's not that bad, right? Oh my gosh. Please don't be a white screen. Uh. Okay. Uh hmm. Tune in my intuition. Gotta open my third mind's eye. Just like I gotta send and read the game's mind. Read the game's programming. It's Russia. It's right here. It's in Ufa. Ufa. Yeah totally it because i can see what i'm doing <laughs> uh, how many people are getting white screens in this game right now it's so weird why are we getting white screens i don't know man carmen's not getting a white screen All right, y'all, here's the deal. I keep seeing a lot of comments for doing Minecraft. I do stick, I do usually stick to a game for a stream. So I won't, like, I don't think I'm going to switch to Minecraft, like, in this stream. But if you guys want to see Minecraft, I want to hear some ideas on what I can do with it. Because to be honest, just totally direct, I'm kind of bored of it. I've played it a lot throughout my lifetime, and I feel like I've kind of done everything there is to do. And, oh, hi there. You just came off while I was trying to fix you. That's cool. That's fine. Chill. Uh, just a second. My microphone's going to go. test test okay thank you for your patience uh that was malaysia oh that would have looked nothing like russia huh yikes um i'm here seeing the ideas is sarai said do hardcore and beat the ender dragon it's a good idea i'm terrible at hardcore but okay this is this is what i need though these are good ideas I could do Minecraft mini games with Audrey or a modded, modded world. I have a magic mod I like to play on. I should look more into mods. Mods would be fun, I think. Uh, play the potato games again? What are the potato games? Like, were the potato games part of Minecraft? I forgot what the potato games are. I'm going to assume these other people that have low... Well, no, because Carmen said she can see the screen. Am I, but I'm not the only one in this game getting a white screen, right? Why is it a white screen? Okay, y'all. Gotta tap into my big brain powers. 
Where do you think it's going to be? You know what? There hasn't been a single one that's been like Australia vibes. I'm going just outside of Sydney. Lock it in. Bam. Lots of people on motorbikes and it looks humid. Fetch. That's probably somewhere in Africa, to be honest. At least in Tanzania, there are a lot of motorbikes. Because over there, like motorbikes are just one of the cheaper forms of transportation that people can get. And so a lot of people have motorbikes. So, like, it was kind of crazy. I'm glad we did not have to do any driving in Tanzania. It was all, like, people that drove us around to wherever we needed to go. Because driving there looks nuts. Not going to lie. Language looks kind of fancy. So, I'm sure there's other places besides the African continent that have humid climates with a lot of motorbikes. Could be Indonesia, right? I bet there's motorbikes in Indonesia. I, that would have been hilarious if I said could be Indonesia and it was Indonesia. It was actually India. India makes a lot of sense too. Yep. Well, not Australia. Dang it. Um. Wow, a white screen. Unbelievable. Uh, I've literally just been guessing on intuition. This time, if you guys want to give me hints in the chat, I will wait for whatever hints you guys give. I will wait for some generic guidance, and then we'll just random pin drop from there. So... Highway and looks just normal. Lots of grass and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. If you were to do a a different country would you want to drive or have someone drive you honestly in foreign countries i would much rather like be taxied i feel like trying to drive in countries where their driving habits and laws are different than america i feel like it would just be balaton on the highway sign and the rest is in a different language we're gonna go hungary bop I don't know. I don't know. How am I supposed to guess? What? Dude. That's like the Germany guess. Wow. Dude. Is that even actually in Hungary? Or just like near the border? That's in Hungary, right? I'm him. Bam. I'm so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that, that propelled me to third place. Oh my gosh. Wow. Sorry if the microphone, like, got really crunchy through there. Wow. Unfreaking believable. Wow. Dang. <laughs> that, that was good. Finally got one, man. Bam. <laughs> from one lucky guess all i guessed off of was the freaking it says balaton and the rest of the highway sign is in a different language and oh and there was the other one that was like highway and it looks normal and lots of grass those are the hints i went off of
<laughs> like just randomly guessed Hungary. And that was that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to just click play again. And we're going to see if it lets me see this time. Pretty please. I might have to just kick everybody out and start a new party. Because it's not loading for me. Is it because I'm in like full screen? Does coming out of full screen fix it? No, doesn't. I'm, oh my gosh. There's cows. Oh wait, Scotland's more like sheep, isn't it? Cows could be anywhere. You know what? We're doing India. Going right there. Okay, y'all. I'm literally only that that guess is only off of the hint. It's only off of the hint. There's cows. That's it. Did everybody bail on this? I'll wait for this round to end, and if most people bailed because I said I'd start a new one, I'll just start it right after this one. I could only see. I'm, I'm literally only going off of there's cows. Come on, man. Come on. Ugh. Dang it. South Africa. <laughs> Not even close. I'm just going to be forever chasing that high of going off of vague hints and getting hungry. Correct. Okay. It looks like some people bailed. Okay, y'all. I'm going to... Since I can't see a dang thing, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to end this game. And we are going to start a new lobby because... I can't see anything for some reason. So, I'll just... I'll do both the link and the code. There. In the chat. Leave it on screen for a while. And yeah. I don't know why it was just giving me a white screen. That was kind of bonkers. Welcome, welcome. Anybody that's joined since last I saw uh, Tion, it's going pretty good. Playing GeoGuessr. Uh, if you just barely joined, you just barely missed the most glorious guess of all time. I couldn't see anything that's going on. It was just giving me a white screen. Chat gave me the hints of there's a highway, looks normal, grass. There's a sign that says like Balaton. The rest of the sign's in a different language. That's all the hints I went off of because I couldn't see anything. Plopped it down in Hungary. It was Hungary. And I was like pretty close too. It was so funny. I gotta go brag about my accomplishment to Audrey. I should. I need I need to later today I need to get go back into the stream, freaking show her that clip. Because that was hilarious. Alright. This everybody. Everybody that wants to join. Joined? Okay. Please. Please be fixed. Don't give me a white screen. Please. I'm gonna let him not look at it. Give me luck. Why? Why is it broken? Do I have to like restart my whole browser? What's weird is up by the GeoGuessr logo, there's like what looks like a little sad face up here. Why can't I see? Crying emoji. I can't see. 
a road where there's some cracks and sagebrush. Okay. Uh, sagebrush is more like Western U.S. Uh, if there's a lot of sagebrush, I'm going... Oh, wait. Western Wyoming, though, mostly is, like, pretty, pretty. Eastern Wyoming's just, like, flat like Nebraska. If there's sagebrush... I'm going to guess my home state of Utah. That's That's where I know sagebrush from. If it's actually sagebrush, like, Utah's got sagebrush for days. So we'll see. Probably, like, somewhere in, like, by the, I don't know, Eastern Europe. Not quite Eastern Europe, but I love that my, yeah, that's funny. Okay. What the heck? Okay, sorry, y'all. We're going to be... I have to start the next round to be able to get out of the game. But I'm aborting this game, too. And we need to figure out why I can't do this. I'm going to just, yeah, do this one. Because I'm actually in a browser. I just have my browser full screen so it looks nicer for the stream. I'm just going to flat out close down my browser and reopen a new one. Geoguessr. You know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to see if I can get some quiet copyright free music going in the background because there's not a whole lot of stuff running I'm sorry that you were in first place I know but I playing with the white screen was funny for one round but I feel like I can't just I can't just like play on the white screen for the west rest of the stream. Ooh, Emma suggested just call Odge now and brag about it. That might be fun. I'm gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna turn to. Oh, that kind of got louder. I can move it down a bit. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to call her. Hello? Hello. Hello. I just had the greatest accomplishment of my life, and the, the chat says I have to call you and tell you about it. I'll show you the clip later. Are you still live? Yeah. You're on, you're on stream right now. Just letting you know. <laughs> Not straight on. Okay, so the setup here. Okay, my I so I started playing multiplayer, right? So I started having the viewers play game, play play it with me. For some reason, mine like broke, and it only would show me a white screen, so I couldn't oh. do it. They're saying they want to FaceTime. Can you FaceTime? Yeah. The answer to FaceTime. I don't know why they say FaceTime, because you're, I mean, I'll be able to, like, say hi. <laughs> yeah, they could see you. Okay, so my game broke, right? It was giving me a white screen. Chat knew this, because, you know, it's on stream. They helped me out by giving me at least some very vague hints, right? Okay. So they could see it. I couldn't. Mine was like the only one that broke. So they the hints I got were there's a road sign that says something along the lines of Balaton. The rest of the road signs in a different language. 
it's a highway and there's lots of grass and besides that it just looks normal with like five seconds left i was just like you know what like okay going off of that let's make our guess so i just plopped my pin down in hungary and it was hungary like straight up and i was like pretty close inside of hungary too i'll have to show you the clip because my celebration was a little wonky it was so funny so uh yeah everybody's asking where are you we're kind of pixelated right now but show them Oh, you can't hear right now. They can see you, but they can't really hear you. Because I had you away from my microphone. They said you're buying blackberries? Two grapes. One um, yellow grape and one black bluish grape. And then a blackberry. Okay. I just realized I probably didn't have you like close enough to the microphone this whole time, so I don't know how much they heard of this call. And the thing about getting this plum tree right now. A plum tree. If you didn't hear it. <laughs> nice. I'm tree shopping because we found out that the truck is probably not long enough to get boards to make the beds yet. We probably have to go with the trailer for that. That's valid. Okay. So I'm tree shopping. Okay. Anyways, have a rest of your stream. That is Thanks. insane that you guessed that with, like, yeah, nothing dude. to go off of. It was wild. It was so funny. Anyway, enjoy your tree shopping. Thanks. See you later. Love you. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> there you go. Sorry if you couldn't hear most of that. I kind of forgot. My microphone doesn't like sound that comes from other angles besides like directly into it but yeah she's tree shopping yes it's all for our yard in progress but yeah good stuff okay i closed down my browser i'm gonna try leaving it out of full screen mode uh we'll see if this works i'll put the link in there Put the code in there. Either one works if you would like. We'll see. Oh, I don't know if anybody goes off of it just being on screen, but yeah, please work. I have no idea why the screen was white. It's just some random technical difficulty. So, yeah, I don't know, kind of weird. I hope it starts working again because I want to, you know, like actually be able to play GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr Extreme Mode was kind of fun, but I don't want to play with a widescreen for the rest of the stream. I don't think that'd be... After a while, I think it would get old. So. Yeah. Okay. I think... Seems like that's everybody not seeing more people come in. So we'll start the game. Please work. Please. Please. Thank you. I can see again, guys. Where the freak? This looks like it would be like some kind of port or abandoned port. 
Like it looks like it'd be some kind of shipyard thing, or it was some kind of shipyard thing. But where is the question? There's like no signage to go off of. Honestly, like I feel like I for GeoGuessr depend on signs so much because I feel like I can identify uh languages not like super well but that i feel like that's the thing that gives me the best like starting point so i don't know restricted area that's a lot of birds i wish i was a bird person because i have no idea it's in english uh man i don't know i don't know we're going main it's probably not even close <laughs> i don't even know why i thought main that's not even that's that's on an island what even is that Sand Island, Midway Islands. Uh, just... <laughs> I mean, I I don't think I've even heard of that. Okay, uh, it's giving Europe, I think. That's a Toyota. Well, I'm going to take back what I said about language stuff. I have no idea what that is. Um, going off of previous instances in this game, that word is giving me like Norway, Sweden, Finland vibes. Like this part of uh europe um yeah definitely giving me those vibes i feel like it would be the southern ends of those countries like not way up here because i feel like it's not that northern looking it looks like a reasonably mild climate to me i don't know uh I think it's giving me mostly Sweden vibes. So we'll just go like that. Actually, that's probably like way outside of a city. We're like in a town. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Is that part of Denmark? It's in Denmark. Okay. So I was, I was like actually kind of along the right lines here. Not bad, not bad. Okay, doing pretty good for my standards. Uh, We got the motorbikes again. So immediate thoughts. Immediate thoughts is somewhere in Africa. I know, I know Americans don't get the best track record for geography. But let me tell you now, I know that Africa is a continent and that it is a very large place. <laughs> so I know that Africa, just it being somewhere in Africa, does not narrow it down all that much. But it's a starting point. The thing is, is I feel like this could also be India. But I think I'm leaning more towards India africa but this is like this is like we are like in the middle of nowhere uh since i don't know exactly where i'm gonna guess mozambique because that's where audrey went for a humanitarian trip and why not and i feel like it would be in one of the more deserty podunk areas so i'm going 
Mozambique. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm gonna be wrong. It's actually Chad. It would be hilarious if it is. <laughs> I mean, me saying it's actually Chad would have been a lot closer to where that actually was. That is Nigeria. So it was in Africa. I was right about that much. But like I said, Africa does not narrow it down very much. So, oh, okay. This is given... Never been there but from what i've seen in pictures this is giving switzerland i don't know exactly what they speak in switzerland like is swiss its own language thing is is it borders germany so it's very possible for it to like either have german speaking people or have a language that is like germanic in origin uh, i feel like maybe this is just straight up germany though germany's also a pretty big place i don't know but just by picture i feel like it's switzerland i feel like it's like the german side of switzerland like the german area the german border side of switzerland so i feel like we're more we're, winterthur sounds like a nice town we're going that it's probably just actually directly in germany but we'll see wherever it is it's freaking beautiful and i want to go there Austria. That makes sense too. All right. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Okay. Does anybody know like is Austria strictly like a German speaking country or do they have their own like is Austrian a language? I don't know. I don't know what they speak formally in austria well that's in <laughs> hey y'all if you're if you're watching my stream carefully uh <laughs> the car has it uh but where in this country is this thing I have no idea where this would be inside of this country. That's a lot of names. That's a lot of names. Surely at least one of you guys has found it straight up. This is the closest thing I can find to it, and the round's ending soon. But I have no idea where that one actually is. I don't know. It would be funny if it's not even in Poland. Oh, it's just right in Warsaw. Interesting. Don't be afraid to shy away from the big cities, y'all. Just ride in Warsaw. Should have known. Hey, it came in second place. <laughs> Woo! Pretty decent. This is fun. I like this game. Have you guys seen clips of people online who can literally... Like, they literally can... Like, they literally play geoguesser off of like just like the craziest things like people there are people out there that will like drop in a place and they'll be like oh that plant is a 
uh, blah 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 this kind of plant which is native to like this region so i know i'm in like this part of the world and then oh like the the, the sky is like oh the code for anybody that needs it again is fxud but i'll just put it back in chat um and they'll be like oh well the sky is like this hex code of blue which is like two ticks more blue than this area of the world so i know i'm in this country and then this road was constructed obviously using this uh this this technique of road constructions and this country is the only one that uses this road construction so i know we're about here like i know that's not like exactly how it goes but like i that's like what i hear and it's just crazy i don't understand how people are that good i don't know so let's play again yo no why it's like, like, it's like every time I want to play a new game, I'm going to have to just like completely close down the lobby, completely close my browser. You know what? Let's just do another white screen round. Let's see if we can recreate the magic again. What are y'all thinking? Oh, you have a black screen? Dang. Can anybody see what it is? If nobody can see what it is, then, oh. Carmen can see what it is. Road and dead grass. Utah or Texas. Valid. Dead grass. I don't know if any of you have ever driven through Nebraska. But road and dead grass makes me instantly think of Nebraska. I think I'm trying to think what interstate I would have driven on through nebraska i think it's part of i-80 we're going there actually if it's like on the road we're going there because why not road and dead grass gives nebraska to me if i hear road and dead grass i will always think of nebraska Ah, nope. Uh, it was actually South Africa. <laughs> well, have we have we gotten one that's like have we gotten a single one that's in America? What do you mean that's kind of cheating? I don't see how getting hints from the chat is kind of cheating when I literally cannot see what is on the screen. And the hints they give me are very vague. So, like, it doesn't narrow it down much at all. Red tin type of roof. Gives me Italy vibes. Well, not like Italy, but like lots of plants. Maybe Italy, straight up. I don't know. I'm thinking like somewhere, maybe Spain. Could be Spain. If you think it's Encanto vibes, we could do Spain. Wait, a sign, not Italy has the European Union flag on the sign. Is Spain part of the European Union? I have no idea. I'm going Madrid. Clock's ticking. Go Madrid. Dang it. <laughs> All right, pretty decent. Uh, I've already done two rounds. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I wonder what this could be. It's giving Antarctica vibes. So, 
I think we're in here. <laughs> <clears throat> nice bushes. So probably somewhere greener. I'm glad the map gives you like the topography thing. I don't know if it's technically topography, but like the the color map thing where you can see what areas are greener climates and which ones are more desert brown climates. I don't know, y'all. All right. After this round, I think I'll just end this one early and fix it. I don't know why it keeps giving me a white screen, but it seems to solve it if I just completely close it down and reopen it. So, yeah. You know what? I'm going to keep holding out for an American one. I don't think we've gotten a single one that's been in America. We're going Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It would be hilarious if it's Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Dang it. It's Denmark again. Come on, man. Why aren't any of these in America? Do they put them outside of America because they know their player base is primarily American? So, or is it based on, like, like does the browser know your location? So it, like, will give you places that are not, like, where you're from. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Whoever was in first place can claim themselves as the winner. I am i don't know. I have to, like, freaking completely reopen this for me to not get a white screen. But that seems like it's how it got to be. So, here is the link. Here is the code. Probably only got time for a few more rounds. Maybe we'll just play one more, and then we can just chat for the rest of the time. I don't know. If, we'll see how many people come back. <laughs> I've got probably about 20 minutes before I typically end my stream. So. Yeah. I'll have this be the last one. And if it gives me a white screen again, I'll just, we'll just call it. <laughs> so hopefully it does not give me a white screen, please. I just want to play one more round of GeoGuessr. All right. Amount of people joining has slowed down, so I'm going to assume this is everybody. All right. I didn't get a, light, a, a white screen. Here we go. Suarez and Sons. Hmm. Just off of initial judgments, it's giving, like, this segment of the world vibes. I have no idea if those vibes are correct. <clears throat> what does that even say? Oh, we're in the Philippines. So I was kind of right about the segment of the world uh as for where in the philippines we are i don't know i have no clue what are the chances i can scroll in somewhere random and find mahogany street exactly 
How about Cebu City? Mahogany Street, baby. Where is it? Whatever. I'm going to stick with Cebu City. For no logical reason. <clears throat> ah, that's like Northern Philippines. <clears throat> uh... Oh, uh, hey, there's a thing that says Philippine Military Academy Gate. That that would have done it. That's where that's where we were. That's what I saw that let me know we were in the Philippines. So. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a G? I think so. Organic. Um... Back up a little bit. I can't tell if that's English. I don't think it is. It's the same type of characters we use in English, but it's not English. If that makes sense. Ah. This person is driving on the left side of the road, so. Uh, that kind of accent on the sea could be like any of this kind of stuff. I'm inclined to think more like Czech, Slovakia ish area oh i don't have very much more time i don't know i'll go right there yeah. in slovakia because why not not bad that's kind of close it's actually serbia where is it i'm having a hard time seeing the lines I think that's Serbia. All right. Interesting. There it is. Yep. So it was a town name on the road sign. Straight up. Just hard to locate a single town in an entire world map. You know? So. Hmm. What kind of cars do we have? like hyundai mercedes because i know like there are parts of the world that seem to not take american-made cars they like they just don't import them uh that's volkswagen mercedes isn't american-made though i don't think Cars doesn't help. I'm spending too much time on that. <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's kind of a more established city. Feel like it's leaning towards something South America-ish. Nope, that's that's definitely more Europe. Uh just gonna kind of scroll until I see a character that looks like that more commonly used stuff like that we'll go Bulgaria sure we'll just go right in this big city <laughs> I don't know it's probably not like the big city probably not even Bulgaria that's getting there that's is that Georgia is that part of Georgia no, it's barely outside of that. What does that belong to? Is that part of Ukraine? No, that's Ukraine's border. What country is that? I'm not seeing... Because, like, whatever it is... Is, like, this town... Because this looks like the Georgia borderline. But whatever it is, is right outside of Georgia. 
can't tell what that belongs to. Is that just part of Russia? Does Russia, like, go down through here like that? I don't know. Oh, hey, I'm in first place. Cool. What the heck? Kind of in the middle of nowhere out here. Is not giving me much. Is there a sign anywhere? Anything with a, like a language on it? What is that? It looks like a can in the window, but I can't tell what that really says. That's like a well, right? <laughs> That does not look like American signage. So I think I can rule out America. At least like the United States, part of North America. But hmm, I think I can rule out North America. Given, I don't even know, man. Wait, was that a flag? I have no idea what that is, but I assume it's something, uh, something European. I don't know. I don't know my flags very well. It looked like green, red, and white. There's a lot of flags that have those colors. What? Wow! Oh, it's just barely, oh, I put in Romania and it looks like it's just barely Bulgaria. But like, still. Dude, I've had like one, at least one decent lucky guess in like every game that we've played so far. This is wild. Bonkers. Because the first game I played, I got like my... Germany guess and then on the white screen round I got my Hungary guess oh my gosh hmm that is an interesting bus it's definitely given major highway vibes uh I know this is gonna sound stereotypical because it kind of is, but like clothing vibes are giving India ish kind of stuff. But there's probably a lot more countries that have clothing like that. And it's just what I've seen in the movies. Because I'm just. Because what I know about a lot of places are just the stereotypes of those places. I cannot read that at all. I have no idea what that is. I'm leaning towards India. We're just going to go bop right there. Why not? Pretty decent, right? Hey! I stayed in first place. I finally won one. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Did you guys catch that? I went like this. I was like, yeah. And then right after, my GeoGuessr guy was like, yeah. That's funny. Okay. Well, good game, y'all. Ah, that's a good one. Man, they really grouped several of our guesses in that part of europe all right thanks for playing y'all i think we'll just chat for the last 10 minutes if that's okay with y'all and yeah on that last guess i didn't give the credit i don't know who did it but someone was like dang close to the correct city in india 
on that last guess. That was great. Good job to everybody. I wish it gave more time too. I don't know if I can. Oh, uh, I mean, 10 minutes feels like it would have been way too long, but I definitely had control over that. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, good stuff. What would be my dream game and go into details? I don't think I'm going to have details for you because I don't think I really have. I don't think I really have a dream game. To be honest. Uh, also, I don't know when Andre's going to get home. Probably not before the stream's over. She's out tree shopping for stuff for her yard. Um, and no, I'm not going live with odds later. Again, like I said before, I'm sorry for the people that I like threw off by streaming today. But Audrey actually streamed yesterday on her regular time. I'm only streaming today because I was unable to stream yesterday. But Audrey already did her stream for this week. So... Yeah. <laughs> Do I think YouTubers should have IT IT people to fix technology? I uh, I mean, I feel like with enough practice you can kind of just become your own IT person. And honestly, one of I feel like one of the secrets of IT is sometimes games giving you white screens like that are just the game being dumb. And it's just kind of a glitch or bug in its code. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. That's that. So you just kind of have to restart it and stuff. Um, am I streaming Friday next week then? I think so. I don't think I have anything happening next Friday. So, yes. I'll be streaming next Friday. I usually stream on Fridays at this time frame from two from twelve to two my time. Uh so it would be like the same time frame window as today's stream was. It's just on Friday instead of Saturday. Is usually Yeah. So I was going to say, going back to the dream game thing, I don't think I really have a dream game because my mood for games changes so often that I don't even think there's like one thing that's like, oh my gosh. Actually, I wouldn't call this like a dream game, but the closest thing that I've thought of it to it is I am surprised that nobody has made a John Wick game yet. To be honest i feel like those movies would turn into interesting games and i feel like it could be along the lines of like hitman game vibes instead of it being like stealthy assassin stuff you're just like straight up like like unstoppable one man army kind of stuff but um what's my tip for a two hour bus ride with a bunch of teens honestly like i don't know it depends on if you have friends on that bus or not because i mean i'm not the most social but sitting by someone that it's kind of sounds weird but sitting by someone that also kind of doesn't really look to be excited on that bus i feel like and like trying to talk to them i feel like can sometimes work otherwise i would say my what i usually do is um like if i just like what i do in long car rides is i'll just like bring my switch or just watch youtube on my phone or something or download games on my phone and just play games on my phone so i don't know um Will I be going on the trip to Costa Rica? Since it's so far out, I don't want to like 100% promise anything yet, but it's like a 95% sure that I will be on that trip. I'm pretty sure I will be. Uh, oh, I like 
what MC and SC Music said. Listening to music, just like plug in some headphones and just listen to music as you just kind of stare out the window, zone out. Primetime bus ride stuff. Um, I do kind of do still music. Still do music. Uh, like... At this stage of my life, I don't want to promise like, oh yeah, like I'm working on this project and I'll release it, this stuff. I feel like it's mostly kind of like a dabbling hobby now, but I mean, oh, that's the wrong way. If you can see that, I can't, <laughs> that, yeah, and that. This, this does get used, I promise. Like, this this isn't just here for for looks. I, I play on this piano quite frequently. So, yeah. Yep. That's so hot in this room right now. My PC is a freaking furnace. I think I saw someone ask how large my PC is or how big. I don't think I ever really like showed it, but that that's my piece. See, I don't know what I can give you for scale. This is my iPhone 13. Does that give you a good scale on how big it is? I don't even know if the person that asked that is still in the chat. And that, that comment was like forever ago. That was like an hour ago, probably. Um, I am not allergic to anything. I'm one of those lucky people that has never dealt with allergies in their whole life. Like not even seasonal allergies. Uh, and for Kimberly and M MC SC, you guys play violin. That's awesome. If I assume you know what my instrument is, but for anybody that doesn't know what this is, this is a cello. And I played cello. I've played, I mean, I'm like really rusty right now but I played cello from like fourth grade to senior year. Like, so that would be like eight years, like almost a decade of my life. I actively played cello. So yeah, you get to play a bugle and a fife. That sounds fun. Playing the piano was a classic. I also play the piano. It's a great skill to have, honestly. So, yeah. Audrey sometimes practices. She doesn't really, like, practice practice, if that makes sense. But sometimes she'll have one of her old band friends over and they'll play their flutes together. So, I mean, there's that, kind of. I haven't really tried to teach her any of my instruments though. I mean, I guess we technically did some videos where I did try to teach her. I think I gave her like a piano lesson or something and she gave me a flute lesson. I didn't, I, I'm not good at flute, but yeah. <laughs> I just looked back up. Carmen said, oh, I thought you were trying to flex for a second. Were you saying you thought I was trying to flex when I was trying to do like this? I was like, can you see this? <sighs> let me just, as I'm trying to point to this, let me just. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, nice. You're going to get a guitar for your B-Day and you practice on it sometimes. I have guitars too. Uh, Yeah. This is my acoustic electric. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard this one. I'm not going to play the whole thing because copyright, but let's see. So rusty. Apparently I can't do it without just like staring at it. My voice is good. And that's a harder one. I also have an electric that I don't play a whole lot because it's kind of string buzzy, but I use it sometimes. 
Oh, that's so out of tune. Holy crap. And I have a baritone ukulele that's actually Audrey's. And then a baritone. A baritone ukulele. That's probably also super out of tune. Actually, that's not too different. Travel. Or it is a travel ukulele, so it's like really thin and it's not made out of wood. It's also kind of out of tune. I don't know how to play the SpongeBob song. I don't even know what the SpongeBob song is. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but I was not allowed to watch. <laughs> spongebob as a kid so i have not seen a single episode of spongebob in my whole life so yeah so that's my instruments i think that's all i have i have a piano cello a couple guitars a couple i think they're supposed to be pronounced ukuleles but i'm you know just a white guy from Utah, so ukulele. <laughs> anyway. That's probably about it for the stream, though. It's about time for me to wrap things up, so thank you guys for tuning in. I, always, I realize I always just, like, kind of blankly look up at this and not ever at the camera. Oh, really quick. Have I ever wanted drums? Yes. I did percussion for band in seventh grade for one year. But I think it'd be so fun to learn how to play a drum kit. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It was super fun to play GeoGuessr with y'all. Had some fun moments. I honestly don't know what the next game is going to be. If you have any ideas, drop them in the comments, in the chat, like really quick before I end the stream. Uh, maybe we'll just do one of the Minecraft things. Maybe we'll start a hardcore with Audrey. Who knows? Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been fun. And yeah. Going to give it just a few seconds to let some game suggestions drop. I want to play Wizard 101. I just don't know how many viewers actually want to see it. So, I don't know. All right, y'all. I'll call it there. Thanks for the suggestions. I'll consider it. It'll be a surprise, probably. So, thank you guys for watching. See you next week. Bye.